When you talk about people getting injected with HIV, what, what does that mean? So what they did, they had these improvised syringes made out of pens, these ties. So they'd get this, and it was white. It was heroin. Was white. It was it was it was pure fucking. It was pure pure heroin. I'd be smuggled in by prison guards. You know, you're not supposed to have money in the prison, but there was loads of money getting flashed about. Uh, currency was the king's head. Stamps. You know, there was a lot of currency with stamps. You could you had to buy your food because if you didn't have money, you'd be in prison. Issue standard shite slop, which was fish head soup. Uh, and a bowl of sticky rice twice a day and it's, it was fucking filth and you, you the smell of it would knock you sick you know I remember the first time I was holding my nose and I was I was eating the rice and trying to stomach a little bit of uh, this soup and it was just fucking disgusting you know it had a, like a film of dirt on it and there's flies all over it and you know you, you just you think How the f this is this is oh, it's just horrendous you know what I mean it was horrible um, you had a little bit of money you could He's a, he's eat well, um, and that's 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 what I strived for. Just just to eat well and survive. And they were injecting people with. Yeah, so back to the um, with the heroin. The monopoly was like there was a lot of Nigerians in the prison. They were selling the heroin, and, and there was also the Thai mafia. They were dealing with the samurai gangs. They called Thai samurai um, tattooed from head to toe, quite dangerous. Very small, but like packs of them, and they didn't care. You know, they had no value of life. So, um, what had happened is, if you know, if you didn't have your money to pay that debt, I've seen it. You know, they've stuck syringes full of blood in other people, and it was horrible. You know, I remember seeing this little Malaysian kid. He was always in debt, um, and he got him at the back of the billets. And that was it. He just they punched them full of holes, and he was like, you know what? <sighs> Fucking, you just know, you just know that's it. He's dead, whether it's then or in, in, in a few years. But yeah, that's fucking scary. Yeah, that's scary. I don't know. You know, I talk about this, <clears throat> these stories, James. Right? I've, I've shared this a few times. You know, you yours. You know, yours were the first podcast I've ever I'd ever been on. Um, I've been on a few since. And I've repeated my story over and over again. I've wrote about it a million times. I've, I've sat in conventions and talked about it. Um, people find it quite um, intriguing and interesting. Human interest stories, survival stories. People are like, 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 love listening to that kind of stuff. I don't know why, but um, it, it becomes like you, you, you're conditioned to just talk about it and it becomes normalised. Mm -hmm. So when I say to someone, yeah, I remember get, some kid getting stabbed, stabbing himself in the neck. Right, and there was blood everywhere. He ran in the, the, the guard's office. Don't know why, what was going on. He stabbed himself in the neck and he come out and took himself hostage. <laughs> he, had, he, had, he had the blades to his throat. It was blood pumping from everywhere. He was known to have HIV. All the guards with stands back, they were terrified. Everyone was scattering. And the first thought in my mind was, while everyone's distracted, the queue's a little bit low. I'll go and get some hot water. That was it. It wasn't like... Wow, look at this. Because I'd seen it that many times. You know, I just... And when you tell people that story, they go, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? Why didn't you? I don't know, just like... It, it was over and over and over again. It was a daily thing. You know, I was just more concerned about getting a decent cup of coffee. 